Hello everybody. Today we'll continue the measures of performance, MOP part two. As first review of queuing system model, we have customers arrival at rate lambda, average weight in the queuing in the queuing WQ, and average number in the queue LQ. We have for this model one server service will be exponential usually at rate mu then the departure of the queuing system so overall average time in system w or ws average number in system l or ls okay so i will repeat this example okay if we have cumulative arrival and departure, if we have five customers arrived, arrived in different time and departure from the system at different time. We have here for this example, five customers and one server. So this is arrival time, departure queue, okay, and departure system from the system. So as you can see, the customer one arrived at 9.36 and departure of, from a queue at 9.36. So no waiting here. There is no queuing in customer one. Whereas customer two arrived after one minute, okay, after one minute, and will be hold or waiting in the queue around three minutes because waiting for customer one to be served to finish. We have one server here. Okay. These values, arrival time, departure queue with departure system, we draw it. Okay. AT, arrival, DT, DQ, a departure from Q, DS, departure from system. So from this graph, for this graph, graphically solution here, we can conclude for each customer, how much waiting time? Example here, WQ for customer four arrived, customer four arrived at 9.40 and departure from Q at 9.48 and departure from the system at 9.52. So horizontal line here, gives us the time, give us the time. So WQ4, Q in the queuing system, has, as you can see, from 40 to 48, okay? Eight minutes. So customers four will hold or will wait in the queue system eight minutes. Also, the same customer four, the average time, the average time spent in the whole system, WS, or W will be from 940 to 952, 12 minutes, 12 minutes, okay? So eight minutes in the queue and 12 minutes in the whole system. So will remain four minutes in the service time, on the service side, okay? Also, also we can vertically, vertically uh, conclude or return the number of customers. Okay, example here, uh, for LS, numbers of customers in system at specific time, example like here, 946 here, we have the customer five arrived and the, the, the customer two is departure, is exit. So the difference will be three customers. We have here three customers still in the system, in the whole system at time 9.46. Or at time 9.48 like here or 39, okay. We have, we have here customer three exit, customer four exit from queuing. So we have in the queue system, in the queue system, in the queue, queuing only 
only one customer here waiting in the queue. But we have two customers in the system because from here to here, okay? And so on. So from this graph, you can conclude every variables ls, lq, wq, ws for each customer from this graph, okay? We'll go deeply in the graph. So now we'll talk about the number of customers. LQ, number of customers in Q, LS, number of customers in system, LQ equal AT minus DQ, LS equal AT A minus DS. Okay. Now the changes in the Q. What happened inside the Q? We, the same graph, we projected on the horizontal line to get the blue line is arrival. The green line is for departure from Q or exit from Q. So we project, we project this to conclude that at time 9.36, one customer arrive, one customer leave. Uh, leave the Q system, leave the Q system, not the system. The Q is a queuing. At time 37, another customer is arrived. At time 38, another customer is arrived. At time 40, first customer is arrived and the second exit from the queue. And so on. From this, we conclude that. Okay, the same. So this is, this graph is for customers in queue. Okay, before it's the number of customers in general in the system. Here, only in the queue system, in the queuing, waiting queuing. So the queue, LQ will be equal, as you can see, LQ equal AT minus DQ. So we do it here. At time 36, one customer arrive, one customer leaves the queue. So one minus one, zero, zero customers. At 37, arrived the second customer, no leave. So two minus one equal one here, one customer. We have one customer in the queue system, in the queue. Then at time 38, another, another, uh, another customer arrives, number three, no exit. So we have here three minus one, two. So we have two customers waiting, still waiting in the queue, in the queue. Then at 40, there is customer four arrived and the customer two exit from the queue system. So we'll neglect it. Okay? So four minus two equal two. Remain two. It will remain two. Okay? Then at time around 44, the customer three exit the queue system. Okay? The queue. Then the remaining customer will decrease one become one. Then at 45, the fifth customers arrived and no exit here. So we'll return to two customers waiting, still waiting. Then at times 48, the customers for exit from the queue, system, from the queue, okay, minus one here. And lastly, at 52, the customers five will exit. So, as you can see this graph, it's for customers in the queue. As you can see, we have five customers, but the maximum, the maximum waiting customers in the queue is two. It's two, between one, two, and zero here, okay? Any question here? Any questions here? No. Clear, it's clear? Yes. 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 From that model, from that example and model, we can conclude that the average waiting customer, the average waiting customer, or the maximum waiting customers will be three, uh, sorry, will be two here. So in the waiting room, must be small, not big, to decrease the cost of our factory or our business or whatever. So we make our model business, if we make this model as business part, so 
we have average three customers or two customers, so the waiting room will be small, not big. Okay, for this uh, model. Okay. Now, the same will do it in the changes in the system, not in the queue. Enter the system, exit the system, whole system. Enter the company or supermarket or bank, exit from bank or supermarket. Okay, so in out here out of the system whole system not the queue so the same will make the same the same projection enter and exit from the system then we make these customers in QLS in LS so the same thing customers one arrived no exit customers two arrived no exit customer three arrived no exit customers four arrived Customers four arrived, and the first one exit at 40. So four minus one equal three. So plus one, plus one, plus one, plus zero. Plus one minus one. Here we have plus one minus one. So it's zero less. Or, or four minus one equal three. And at 44, another customer exit from the system minus one here, re return to two. Then at 56, or oh sorry, 45, the customer five is arrived. Return to three customers here. So we have here three customers in the whole system, in the whole system, not in the queue, in the system. Queue plus service side. Then at this times will exit. Okay, as you can see, the average customers, the average customers inside the system, or the maximum customers inside the system will be three here, will be three. Before in the queue will be two. So always we have two in the queue system, in the queue, and one, another one in the service side. So becomes a three here. Okay? You got it? Yes. Okay. yes. Good. Let's continue. We have another definitions. TN, arrival time of customers number N. SN, service time of customer number N. Okay. Uh, TQN, departure time from a queue. TS, departure time from the system. WQ, waiting time in the queue for customers N. WS, waiting time here, waiting time in system for customers number N. Okay, it's another definition to conclude that. So, waiting time. The waiting time, first come, first serve. In general, any queuing system will be first come, first serve, in general. So WQ time, sorry, WQ equal TQ minus TN, like here. Customer one arrives at 9.36, exit, exit the queue at 9.36. So waiting time in the queue system will be zero. This minus this. Customer two, 40 minus 37, three minutes. 44 minus 38, six minutes. Eight minutes, seven minutes, okay? WQ, it's a waiting time inside the queue, okay? So, TQ minus TN, TQ minus TN. Also, WS, the waiting time inside the whole system. So, will be TS minus TN, okay? And SN equal WS minus WQ. SN, it's the time inside the uh, service time. It's a service time. That's a server side. So example here, if we take uh, customer four as example, so we have here WQ for four equal TQ minus TN will be eight minutes. T WS, TS minus T, uh, T will be 12 minutes. So S4, inside the service time will be the difference, 12.5.
12 minus 4. 12 minus 4. Okay? So, from this, we can conclude the waiting time. From the equation, not from the graph. Before, we make it as a graphical solution. Now, we'll make it as equation solution. Okay? We have two, minute, two minute methods. Okay? Any question for this slide? Okay. No. Now, we have relationship between MOPs. MOP matrix will be R, LS, number, number of, of customers inside the system, LQ, number of customers inside the queue, WS, waiting time inside uh, for the whole system, average, we have average time, WQ, average time for all customers inside the queue, lambda, rate, customers arrival at rate lambda, mean, at service time, customers will be served at the new rate. Okay, so the relationship between these parameters or metrics will be LS, LS equal LQ, number of customers inside the system equal number of customers inside the queue plus number of customers inside the service side. Okay, so this, this is the first equation. The second, WS equal WQ plus S. Okay, this uh, like this from this equation. Okay, so if service side is exponential with the mu, so S will be one over mu. Okay, and we have here, and we have here another formula, little. Little slow formula. Little slow formula will give us relation between number of customers and waiting, average waiting of the customers in the average. Okay, so LS equal lambda WS, or and and or LQ equal lambda WQ. So the number of customers inside the system equal the lambda rate times weighting average of the system. It's the same for the Q system, for the Q, inside the Q. So, little low formula, conclude that this LS equal lambda WS or LQ equal lambda WQ in the stable system, in the stable system, okay? Stable system means every customer's is or was served no return for customers no exit in from the middle this formula this formula available only in the stable system so every customers will be served okay to to be this event to this equation two equation will be affected okay Okay, here we have the same example before. The same example before. Five customers, arrival time, departure from Q, departure from T uh, from the system. Now, from this table, we can conclude WQ, WS, SN. Okay, as we did it before for each customers. WQ will be equal. DTQ minus 80, zero. 40 minus 37, three, three minutes. 44 minus 38, six minutes. 48 minus 40, eight minutes and seven minutes. So WQ, total WQ will be equal 24 minutes. The same for WS, exit from the system. So DTS minus 80, DTS minus. 40 minus six, four. 44 minus 37, 7, 10, 12, 11. So the total time inside the system will be 44 minutes. Okay? Also, from this and this, from WQ and WS, we can conclude SN, service time. Service time 
here is fixed. Here is fixed. Okay. So, as an equal ws minus wq. Okay. It's fixed for 20 minutes. So, from this table, we can we can conclude that wq average equals the sum of all wqs for all customers 24 divided by five five customers equal 4.8 minutes so wq average wq will be equal 4.8 minutes the same ws inside the system the waiting average time inside the system will be the sum of ws 44 minutes divided for for five customers average equal 8.8 .8 min minutes so if we have lambda so from this table from this table if we have lambda like here if lambda equal 1 over 3 customers per minute then we can use little slow formula to conclude that or to calculate ls average number ls here average number the average number in the system will be lambda ws will be equal around 2.9 from the graph we conclude that equal to 3 the maximum and lq the number of customers inside the queue equal lambda wq equal 1.6 customers from the graph from the graph we get a 2 as you can remember okay so from from one table we can calculate wq ws sn and if we have lambda and always we have lambda and always we have lambda and mu so we can calculate ls from ws lq from wq okay it's faster way than graphical. We have to we have two options here. We can calculate this by graph as we did. Okay, and from these equations, little's low form. Okay. Any question? No. Any question here? No. Everything is clear. Yes. Lambda that so, given? Sorry? Hey. Lambda we have to or it's given? No, given, given. Always the lambda will be given. Always. If you give us the S and W, you will give us the lambda. We will give you the other one. Yes. But usually, usually, lambda and the mu are given. Lambda and mu are given. Okay? Usually. Usually. We will not use mu. Later, next lecture, we will use mu. The equations will mu. But this example we calculate LS LQ. Okay. So I will stop the recording now.